All right, welcome back. We're back in the Commonwealth tonight. Gonna do some more side questing here. So let's see what we've got. We've got out of the fire. Um, so we just need to go to Finch Farm here, which I think is uh, oh, nope. I was wrong. It is over here. Let's head on over there. Okay. Where is it? Ah, we're going to the south. So this is the iron works. We were here yesterday. Um don't remember. Oh, we were here yesterday for the 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 um, the guy, the the Chinese ghoul. He wanted me to come here and get like some dampening coils, I think, for his submarine, trying to fix the submarine. And in doing so, we ran across a man named Jake who was I don't know, trying to join the group of fire crazed pyro raiders. But then they wanted him to kill some money. He's like, you know what, maybe this was a bad idea. And I'm like, you think? So we killed all the raiders. Now we can't steal it. What? Jake's back? Oh, thank God. Papa, please. I, I know I screwed up pretty big. I thought if I joined up, I could keep them from raiding our farm. I didn't. I don't want to hurt anybody. That's a little noble. I give you that. I told you. Abraham Francis Finch. That's enough. Mom, I Ooh. If I get you know when your mom uses all three names, you're in deep shit. Potatoes for the next year. I watched you two go at it for years and tried to let you sort it out for yourself. Oh, there she is. Abraham, your son is a grown man. And if you He's a grown ass man. One, then you better stop treating him like a child. Your father and I have been out there, and we know it can be dangerous. We just want to make sure you're prepared. There, it's over. And if I hear another word about it from either of you, so help me. She's right. Here's something for your help. Huh? All right. Oh, so this is now a settlement of mine. No, I don't want to go talk to Preston Garvey. No, why do I have to go talk to Preston Garvey? <sighs> Fuck Preston Garvey. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I had this plan about getting rid of the Preston Garvey quests, and it was going to work. Until this one sent me to go see Preston Garvey. I took care of those super mutants. The yeah, yeah, I took care of super mutants. Them to worry about anymore. Thank God. Super mutants. Civilians just don't stand a chance against them. As usual, I've got something else. Yeah, 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 I know. I'll mark it on your map. Use all the support we can get. So see what you can do to help. Anything else work? need doing? You eat. You're worried. The super it's simple as that. You better get over there before it's too late. I've heard of another settlement that's in trouble. Here's the location. Get there as soon as you can. We promised them we'd be there when they need it. There we go, finally. It's completed. That bastard better not have given me. Oh, he gave me two quests. That son of a bitch. He gave me three quests! Good god, man. What's wrong with you? Uh, I guess he just missed me that much. Alright. So we're gonna go pick up a new quest. That's right here at Covenants. We're gonna, we're gonna go.
Alright, let's mark this on our map and we're gonna go check out this place. There's a quest we can pick up in here. There we go, this direction. Ah, let's equip a weapon, that'd be good. Oh, and joining me tonight is Paladin Dance. Say hello, Paladin Dance. He's kind of shy, he's not going to say hello. Hey, it's walled off. It's got turrets everywhere. This is my kind of place, I like it. What you, get. what you got, Lucas? Anything good? Ooh. Me likey. It's only 105. Definitely take that. Hmm. And what is my armor situation on my... Kind of want that too, actually. I don't need that one. Oh, shit. Was that another junk? Yeah, I don't need that. Sweet. Sell it off, at, or I'll mod that at some point. You here visiting Covenant, pal? If not, move along. You know, I'm people loitering around. Not good for the nerves. Is that what this place is called? Yeah, we're a real up and comer. A pit stop on the road for traders and such. We're not that big, but we got the bargains. Got a doc that can patch you up? We even got some lemonade. Well, that's what Deza calls it anyway. Lemonade, eh? Small catch, though. We don't just let anyone inside. There's an entrance test. We call it the safe test. Everyone's got to take it. Interesting idea. Between you and me, what's the test for? I probably shouldn't say nothing, but listen. We want to make sure only good people come into Covenant. No undesirables. Nobody that ain't actually what they seem, you know? So you built a wall to keep people out. Are, is this Donald Trump? Is this what happens to Trump? You don't know about... Jesus, listen. Not everyone in the Commonwealth is human, okay? Some are... Since. I'm not going to say anything more than that. Just take the test. You pass, and you can come inside where everything's safe. All right? Sure. Good. Take a seat. <laughs> sure. Begin. Oh, you mad over here? Okay. Bye. Tests don't take long. We can begin once you see Oh, I actually have, have to sit down. Raiders and worse have been known to visit. So okay. let's begin. There ain't no wrong answer. Sounds like there are, actually. Frenzied scientist who yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? I wouldn't worry. If he did that, it'd cause parabolic destabilization of the fission singularity. Uh, yeah. Next question. <laughs> While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection on his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate. The doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Medicate the infected area as best I can. You have a medical background. You discover a young boy lost in a cave. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? I give the boy a hug and tell him everything will be okay. Very curious. 
Congratulations. Hey, you made it onto a baseball team. Which position do you prefer? Oh, oh I've made it onto a... This is another question. Uh, I've made it onto a team. They're giving me some kind of test. I don't know what this is. Um, pitcher, I guess. Are you certain about that? Never mind. Next I wonder if it's possible to fail this test. My mother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill someone. What do you do? I give her whatever she wants to spare his life. Hmm. Typical class B. Old Mr. It's called Adam human error. Himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? I grab a bobby pin and pick the lock. And that is all you do? Nothing else? Wait, don't answer. Next. Oh no. Huh. You've been exposed to radiation. <laughs> a mutated hand. Oh no, you've How been you exposed to radiation. It. What's the best course of treatment? I'd cut off the mutated tissue with a precision laser. Technological bias. Hmm. A neighbor is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? I'd trade him for one of the comic books I own. Hmm. You're almost done. <laughs> Last question. That's so weird. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and... I'd put a firecracker in his toilet. <laughs> that never gets old. Test's over. No one's ever answered quite like you. But hey, you passed. I'll open up the gate. Watch me freak out, Mac. I've never seen Blade Runner either, Mac. And that's too long, so can't take that. Welcome to Covenant. Hey, Covenant. Hey, this is a nice little place. Well, hello. Hello. Sorry. I'm so busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi. Well, hello, stranger. The name's Jacob, and I run this town. Glad you passed the test. Our door's always open to good quality people. You can use one of the beds in the guest house. And you should visit Penny's store. Okay. Anything else in town? Doc Patricia will be more than happy to patch you up. For a modest fee, of course. Of course. You might want to stay clear of Mr. Dan. I've had some complaints about him. Who's Dan? He's a gun for hire. Not the most savory line of work, if you ask me. You have a good stay now. Tell you. Oh, I heard about you. You're the stranger. I make things. Uh, things for the store. Oh. I'm Talia. Talia Al Ghul. So nice to meet you. What do you make? I make medical supplies. Oh, and guns, scopes, and other things. You can see them for sale at Penny's store. You're gonna like it here. Everyone in Covenant is so friendly and really wants to help. Why is everyone here so friendly? I don't know. I ask Mr. Orden. I'm much better with terminals than people. Feel free. Something's weird to here. Tools. And if you need anything, just let me know. Hmm. Can I go in this house? Nope. Okay. The caravan came a few days back. Hey. I already From it. around here? I don't recollect. God, I hope not. We get a lot of traffic. Not enough of these hicks. You have a problem with the people here? All the fake smiles and the fancy talking puts me on edge. The sooner I'm out of here, the better. You know anything about Stockton's caravan? Nope. A caravan? What are you talking about? I signed on with old man Stock. His lost caravan. What's left of it? Oh, that sounds like a good trade. I will totally watch uh, Blade Runner if you watch Red House. But I keep getting the runaround. I've got a proposal for you. Help me find Stockton's people, and we split the reward. At least one survivor walked out of that massacre, and I intend to make good on my contract. Who are we looking for? The big one is Stockton's daughter, Amelia. I didn't find any bodies of the feminine persuasion, so uh, there's hope. If we find her, Stockton's offering a heap of calves. 
Sounds fair. I'm in. Here's all I got on the caravan. I don't got proof, but Covenant's involved. Somehow. I'll keep poking around, but let me know if you find anything. This isn't Diamond. A caravan of five comes through, you can back up. Then they must not have come through. Say, wouldn't you rather have a drink? My job here isn't drinking lemons. No good back to you. Really? Flamingos? <laughs> Jacob, I hope you're in Can I ask some questions? Ask away. Do you know anything about a missing caravan? Is this about those Stockton people? I've told Mr. Dan many, many times. We never saw them. Does Covenant have a problem with synths? Shouldn't everyone have a problem with synths? But there's none of those things here. That you know. Just assured. Dan says your people are lying to him. If you ask me, I think Dan's been baking in the sun too long. The only secret we got here is what's in Deezer's lemonade. And if you can get Deezer to tell you, you just got to fill me in. As the robot says, it's delicious. I have to go. You have a good day. All right. See what else we got going on. Who's in here? Brian Fitzgerald and Gerald Fitzbrian. Ah! Welcome. It's kind of highbrow humor you can expect to hear on this stream. We don't tolerate violence or vulgarity. Thank you for walking in front of me, Paladin we'll Dance. Okay, you're not gonna talk to me. It's fine. Can I use your computer? Nope. All right. I can hack Deezer, that'd be funny. Hey, Deezer. Best rads, best new fruit, same great taste, try Deezer's lemonade! I'm looking into a lost caravan. Can you help? You know what would be great for a lost caravan? Deezer's lemonade! <laughs> <laughs> I like Deezer. Wish he would be a companion. What's in the lemonade? Jesus lemonade is made of goodness. Four special ingredients from sunny, non-irradiated environments, all in one cold glass. Try it and enjoy, or take advantage of the money-back guarantee. I'll take some. Enjoy. All right, let's check out Deezer's lemonade. See what it is about. Hey, Deezer. 93% of all visitors prefer Deezer's lemonade. Eh. I hate Honest it. Dan. Enjoy your stay. Benny Fitzgerald and yeah. Gerald Fitzpenny. Swanson didn't give you too hard a time at the gate. <laughs> yep, I know I just made that joke, but I'm making it again. Everyone around here calls me Mrs. Carol, <coughs> but you, cutie, can call me Penny. That's kind of creepy since you're married. What do you do around here? A bit of everything. I try to leave some things for the men folk to do, you know, so they feel in charge. You here to shop? I'll make sure to give you a good price. Do you have time for a few questions? For you? Hmm, <laughs> certainly. Do you know anything about a missing caravan? You've been talking to Mr. Dan. I don't know what he's carrying on about. He's just stirring the pot, if you ask me. I am asking you. Why would he do that? 
some people are just jealous when they see others leading a better life. And they'd like nothing better than to drag everyone down to their level. And Dan thinks he's the one helping people. He wouldn't know the first thing about making the common so why'd you let him in here then? Place. He should be thankful you let him in. Instead, he stomps around interrogating people. If the compound did do something to his precious caravan, they had reasons for it. Better reasons than What's a man the compound? Like I think I missed that. You know, honey, I I was just shooting off at the mouth. Just forget anything I said about that and the compound. I have to go. Penny. You here to shop? If not, I'm sure you've got places to go and all. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed your stay. What's in stock? Best deals around. She's probably the junk. Yeah, she looks like the junk vendor. Oh, we'll take some fertilizer though. Oh, oh, oh. Oh no, we don't want that because I can't mod that. What was that? Justice. A shotgun. I don't need that. It's a nice shotgun. How much was it? Eh, I don't need a new shotgun. Don't use the one I have. Uh. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello, stranger. You got anything that ails you? I'll fix you up for a fee. Not interested. All right. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Actually, I was trying to. Oh, that's searching the caravan. Okay, so I'm still hanging around here trying to figure out where this stupid compound thing is. Let me know. Hear anything, Doc? If you want rumors, then Penny's the girl for you. I like to stick to fixing people. It's what I'm good at. Not today. Let me know if that changes. Alright, let's try talking to Penny again. She seemed to know about the compound. Maybe she'll hey, talk a little bit more. You to shop? If not, I'm sure you've got places to go and all. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed your stay. Do you have time for a few questions? Well, I don't know. I'm awfully busy. Make it quick. Could you tell me anything about the compound? Compound? <laughs> Who said anything about a compound? <laughs> you know what? I, I really am very busy. All right, not gonna get it from you. Let's go talk to this lady again. Hi. Feel safe out there. Tell you. Oh, you're back. Isn't Covenant just the best? Oh yes, I love it. Have yeah. Time for some questions? If it'll help, sure. Do you know anything about a compound? Uh, no. Sorry, I just make things for the shop, you know. Do you know anything about Stockton's caravan? No, sorry, they never came here. Does Covenant have some sort of problem with synths? Synths? I, I mean, no. The test makes sure that none of those get in here. They promised. Who is they? They're... I really shouldn't be talking. I've got work, I have to go. Aw, oh, man. They're hiding something. Yeah, they're, you're right about that, Dan. They're certainly hiding something. There's... break our rules, or has to leave. Rarely happens, though. Mr. Fitzgerald. We get along just swell with passers-by. Like I always say, give someone a free meal, safe place to bunk up, and some civility, and they'll be all P's and Q's in no time. Okay, yeah, this dick just ain't gonna talk to me, so... Fuck him. Where's the means business? That's true. Where'd the the mayor dude go? Shut up, Deezer. That is one tiny settlement in so much firepower. Hey, Deezer. Less rats, less mute fruit, same great taste. Try Deezer's lemonade. Maybe Deezer knows something about the compound. I'll pass. You don't know what you're missing. I do. I just had some. So, yeah. There's a toilet back here. Yeah, don't want any of that nonsense. Tell 
Where are these knuckleheads? Meaning no offense, but I got a mountain of work to do. Ted. Anybody else in town would be happy to talk to you, but Well, apparently not. Who's this knucklehead? Settler. Unnamed settlers don't know nothing. I can't unlock that door. Been a long time since we've had any trouble in town. Mr. Fitzgerald. Although that honest Dan Well. Oh, I really just want to kill this guy. I suppose. You're hiding something. I'm sure of it. Hey, Dan. This whole place has got me on edge. I hope you found something on the caravan. I found out about a compound. The caravan survivors may be there. Great. Now we just need to find it. If anyone would know where this Yeah, that's what I thought. It'd be Jacob, but I can't find that dickhead. But he doesn't have the best memory. I saw him once reading a slip of paper while entering his password. Maybe you can find that. Since there are a real touchy subject around here. Hmm. Now that you mention it, people are always gabbing about synths or the Institute. But here, pff, not one word. And hell, this whole place is a bucket full of strange. Do you have any other leads? No. If Covenant doesn't pan out, then I don't know where to start. Cross that road if I have to. We'll talk later. Okay. Oh, there's the there's well, Jacob. Hello. Jacob, I hope you're enjoying your stay. Can I ask some questions? Ask away. You ever hear of a compound? Why, that sounds interesting, stranger. But I can't say I've ever heard of a compound, was it? I have to go. You have a good day. Hmm. It's good to see a new face around. I oh, sweet dance. It's good to see a new face around. Well, that's just a public terminal. Go talk to Talia again, because she at least seemed like she was gonna say I something. I shouldn't talk to you because I'm busy and all. Talia. Do you need to use my tools? Not quite. Do you need to oh no, you're not gonna talk to me. <sighs> I almost feel like I need to like hack this terminal or something, but. Depression, the twelve stages of grief, and some self help books. Quite the library here. I'm trying to look for the password, but I'm not seeing it, so I think I might just have to break into this thing. I close the door. Let's do a... 
This whole place turned hostile against me. That's some Shit. serious security. Maybe there's another way around it. Interesting mission. Hey, Dan. You find out anything about the caravan? They took the survivors to a compound. Then we're in business. I'll meet you there and we'll rescue ourselves some caravan hands. Sounds good. Oh, yes, I do. Well, oh, it's not far away. I don't think. Yep, not far away at all. It's no secret Oops. you've been poking around. Jacob. Hey, a stranger. It's no secret you've been poking around. Not very neighborly of you, if you ask me. I know you think you're doing the right thing. Just don't make any rash decisions you'll regret. What rash decisions are you talking about? Maybe your next destination doesn't appreciate trespassers. Just come out and say what you mean. Maybe you heard a rumor about Stockton's caravan and a certain compound. So I still don't understand what their mission here is. There's something to that. We wouldn't do anything unless we had good reasons. The best. Tell you what, you just stop this investigation, and I'll give you a gift. Hundred caps, please. I just dropped eight on your merchant. Eight thousand on your merchant outside. You can keep your caps. Please, just leave well enough alone. There's more going on than you realize. Where is Dance, by the way? Says he admires me, but I haven't seen him since. So I'd kind of like to have that conversation with him. Eh. He and I can chat later. Oh, coming in through the sewer. I'm going to smell wonderful at the end of this. Hey, Dan. Some people up ahead. I'll follow your lead. It had to be like this. Did 
didn't have to be like this. You guys started shooting. There's hey, Dance. You point, I shoot. Excuse me, Paladin Dance? Would it be possible to speak off the record for a moment? Absolutely. Go ahead. Thank you. This is difficult for me to say, so I hope you'll bear with me as I try to get through it. When you were first placed under my sponsorship, I had some serious reservations about it. Despite all that, this has turned out to be a rewarding experience for both of us. At this point, honestly, I don't feel like there's anything else I could teach you about being a Brotherhood soldier that you don't already know. It's apparent from your attitude and your actions that you intend to keep those ideals close to your heart. I'm flattered to hear this, but I feel like there's more. There is. I'm just not very good at these sort of things. Let me start at the beginning. I grew up alone in the capital wasteland. It's all Spent most of my childhood picking through the ruins and selling scrap. When I was a bit older and had a few caps to my name, I moved into Rivet City and opened a junk stand. While I was there, I met a guy named Cutler. We got along pretty well. Watched each other's backs and kept each other out of trouble. When the Brotherhood came through on a recruiting run, we felt like it was a way out of our nowhere lives. So we joined up. I'm glad you had greater ambitions than just selling junk. Once I saw what the Brotherhood had to offer, there was no comparison. Anyway. About a year after we were posted to the Pridwin, Cutler vanished on a scouting op. It took some convincing, but I was able to persuade my CO to let me assemble a squad and search for him. It took almost three weeks, but we tracked his team down to a super mutant hive. Those wretched abominations had slaughtered everyone but Cutler. We should have been so lucky. The mutant bastards used their FEV to change him into one of their own kind. He mm. wasn't Cutler anymore. I had to... It was my duty to put him down. You did the right thing. It's what I was taught. I don't know if it was right. Ever since Cutler died, I've seen other soldiers come and go. Some were brave, some were honest. Hell, some were even downright heroic. But I'd never consider any of them to be a good friend friend like Cutler was until now it's a good feeling but it frightens me all the same having a bond with someone then losing them it changes you I don't want to go through that again it'll never come to that I promise even though I'm well aware that you have no control over it I appreciate the sentiment I just thought you deserved to know how I felt if you feel that I've overstepped my bounds I completely understand whatever the case may be I appreciate the fact that you took the time to listen. All right, let's proceed. Which I don't know which way we're going anymore. Yeah, that way. Let's go this way. Hey, fusion core, gang around with that. Erm, um, how do I get up there? Ooh, back over there, I see it. <laughs> Can't teleport over there? No. Lame dot o.
see if this office terminal tells me any more about what they're doing here. Oops. Oh, so the the save test is essentially something to try and detect sense. Okay. Dudes aren't in my league at all. Hmm. Must be <laughs> oh, there goes your head. to find Stockton's supposed daughter. You do know she's most likely if you are more than a hired gun. Perhaps we can stop this before it's too late. I'll give you a ring. How considerate. What would you do if your family was destroyed by a synth right in front of you when you were but a child? Would you roll over and accept it? Or would you do something about it? What happened to you? In Diamond City, a lifetime ago, my parents and eight others were massacred by someone. At first, we thought the maniac was human. But that was the day we learned of the Institute's latest creations. The Synth. As long as the Institute walks invisibly amongst us, they strike without warning. Control us from the shadows. I've dedicated my life to devising a test to detect these hidden synths, to root them out so they can be extinguished. Isn't that a goal worth fighting for? Someone needs to destroy the Institute. A perfectly rational response. A living I was going to say, I figured Dan would love it if I said that. <laughs> By any medical test yet devised. But it turns out psychology can detect a difference. Enter the safe test. The test is in its infancy, but through sacrifice and perseverance, our success rate is. Well, how do you know if someone is a synth or not? And the safe test works? Oh, yes. Autopsies confirm the test is getting more accurate. There's something in the questions which provokes a response from synth, but the exact trigger... Yeah, I believe the Nazis the tried something like this. ...admittedly high, four or five false positives per synth, but one day we hope to get it to one or two false positives. But your methods are barbaric. It's torture. To improve the safe test, intense psychological pressure must be applied to our test subjects. It is distasteful, but necessary. Covenant is many things. A refuge for the broken people left in the wake of the Institute's rampages. A place of safety and healing. But most importantly, one chance to end this age of paranoia. I will make you a deal. If you let me dispose of Stockton's sin and continue our work, I'll match whatever... 
I've had my fill of crazy on this contract. No deal. Fortunate for me. I wasn't talking to you. You side with this nut job, and we're going to have a serious, deadly problem. Don't kill the girl. I suggest you hand her over. Right? The odds are too great. Yeah, it's okay. I got a love and a dislike, Even if so. She is an unfortunate... Sparing her can compromise everything. Sorry. That's a deal I won't accept. Then you'll just have to kill. Search this area carefully for any technical documentation of pre war artifacts. Hey, Dan. So Stockton gets his daughter and we get paid. Not a bad day. It was good working with you. Likewise. Glad you were on my side. Here's your cut of the reward. I'll get my half from Stockton. Been a pleasure. Be safe, Dan. Same to you. Yay, level up. If you keep boarding that garbage, you're going to slow us down. Shut up, dance. Oh, let's see. I don't know what to spend my perk on. Let's see. Oh, I'd already taken this. I'll take it now then. How's that? Oh, you know, I think I probably took it when I was doing the, um, the Nuka World stuff, and then when I reverted, I don't think I had it anymore. I think the exit's this way. Feels good to punch her about every now and then. As if there isn't enough suffering in the world. Yeah, but you dislike me doing just about everything I did in here there, dance, so Yeah. It's okay, I got a love and two dislikes, which I think is still a net positive, just not by very much. Alright, how the hell do I get out of here? No, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to just set a marker. That's not gonna hilarious. I managed to do a complete 180 and turn right back around and, or I guess that would be a 360. Turned completely around and ended up right back where I started from. Wait, this looks familiar. 
This looks like right at the beginning. Like I came up there. Ah, yep, there we go. Sewer pipes out. I can remove that marker too, I don't need any more. Let's go back to Sanctuary Hills. I think I'm probably going to call it from here tonight. Didn't really get to do a lot. Stupid Preston gave me three more freaking quests. That bastard. I'm doing three hours, because that seems to be the magic number that resets the timer on, hey, I like it when you do this thing. See if that worked. All this rest is making me tired. I hear that, baby. I'm not entirely sure I took any damage during that, despite getting shot at. I owe that all to my beautiful armor. All right, so scrap that. Scrap that. Scrap that. Scrap that. Scrap that. Keeping the shish kebab. Nope, 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 not the shish kebab. And let's mod a guy and see what happens. But since I did all that stuff, it's going to take a while for the message to filter through. Which is kind of funny. I'm going to keep the shish kebab because it seems like a pretty cool weapon. Give it a minute and let everything catch up. Whee. Yeah, I don't like Thanksgiving either, Mac. I'm not a fan. Just don't care for the food that traditionally is consumed at Thanksgiving. It's not really food I enjoy or look forward to. Okay, it didn't look like he liked that. Or, well, I mean, it didn't look like he really cared. Um, so I like the left arm. So we're gonna see if we can't put some more... Well, that's actually top right there. And strengthened, I think, is what I want. 
Uh, no, I waited. Woo, Loki. And the leather. Go studded, because I'm a stud. Sleek. And what's strength and do? This is limb damage. Sleek is. I don't care about that. Ultra light, maybe? I would do lead lined. And oh, now that I've modded this, I don't think I want the left. A left grieve his foot. Yes, that's okay. I'm cool with that. Yeah, I'm totally cool with that. Uh, but the left arm strength. Oh. Ten percent's not a lot. We're gonna go champion. Just chop all that off. Oh, Vault Tech Lab. I kind of wanted to hold on to that. Oh, that's nice. Oh, the sunglasses. I don't need to hold on to the sunglasses. didn't seem to make Paladin Dance really care about any of that, so. We're going to go back here and we're going to call it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.